Hey, it's Botch here from Films by Botch. This is Botch's supersized camera crane. It's got a five metre boom. It'll lift the camera about four metres in the air. We'll do a full 360 degree pan. Has a manual tilt control as well, so you can override it, or you can have it just staying on a level plane. Uh, it's mostly made out of, of general things you'd find at a hardware store. It's got a, the base is made out of a surveyor's tripod. The, Boom is actually a two-piece boom made out of a five-metre screed, concrete screed, and a two-and-a-half-metre screed. And the adjustable pole to adjust the level, that's made out of a, a concreter's pole that they drag across the concrete when it's wet. So let's check it out. If you'd like to make this, check out my video below. The link is in the uh, title description. Okay, here's how it all packed into my van. I've left the, the large boom still joined together so it just fits in my van grab a float level put it on the tripod check for level there it's good okay now I'll skip through this bit pretty quick because it's pretty boring basically we're just assembling the crane onto the tripod through the threaded bolt with the nut on the bottom then I do that up from underneath and then I've got the two sidebars which hold the tensioning cables on either side and I have one across the top so the bars slip into the housing and they tighten down the bottom with the turnbuckles and the back end of the crane. Then I've got the 12 volt battery which is the power for the screen. That also acts as a counterweight as well. And the screen or monitor is a headrest monitor out of a car which is mounted to a desk lamp so I can desk lamp pivot so I can pivot it around. Now I haven't painted the crane because it looks a lot easier for you guys to see rather than everything being black. And then I've put the fluid head on the uh, housing down the other end. And eventually I hope to have some electronics in there, maybe electronic tilt and pan. Okay, next step is put your camera into the cradle. I have a Canon XF100, which is a fantastic camera. It just slips into the cradle as such. And lock it down. And then I have the, the, the cable that runs back to the TV. It gets, gets plugged into the camera through the AV output and that is purely for the use of the monitor only so I can see what I'm recording when the camera is up in the air. Tighten all that down. I can also have the handle so I can do sideways panning shots but I haven't got the handle with me today. Okay now up the other end we have our barbell which I've welded onto a plate with a couple of bolts through it. I'm putting about six kilos on each side then I have another smaller weight down the centre, just as a bit of a, a counterbalance. I do need to make another smaller weight, I've just worked out. Now also with the camera head that I've had on there, you don't have to use the head, you can use it without the, without the fluid head. Get the camera lower, which also save a bit of weight on the other end. But I like to put it on there to turn the camera so I can do the panning shots. But it is not required though. Alright, let's fire it up. Turn the camera on. Lens cap off. Cables are tight. And the only other thing I didn't do was to level the adjuster. Now I can adjust it down here. That's not very critical because I've got the fluid head on. It is going to make a bit of difference to the final product. I can even sit on top of the camera and check it on there for fine tuning. Turn the monitor on. We've got picture. All right, we're recording now, so let's go. Three, two, one. Now the weights still need a little bit more fine tuning. I've had to put a one and a half kilo weight down the side there. But as you can see, it's still pretty smooth. I just like to get it perfectly balanced. It's pretty close, but a bit more wouldn't hurt it. Now I've only just made this, so this is all pure test footage. As you can see, I don't need much pressure on the 
on my rig to make it move. And it pretty much flows nice and smooth by itself. Now I'll just change the camera angle, do a bit of a sweeping pan shot, see how that looks. Give the camera a twist around, give it a loop of the loop and see how that goes. Okay, that's pretty much on the ground level, creeping across the ground, up and over my camera case, and up into the river, hit some bushes. Now I'll lower it back down over the edge here and have a look. That's a reverse panning shot, camera going backwards, mounted sideways, going backwards. And yeah, we'll try um, tilting the head forward a bit and see how that goes. These are the rocks under the water on the edge. Get right down in there, hopefully my camera won't go for a swim. I'll go for a walk underneath it. It's going to stay. It's pretty damn high. Now I've got two ways of leveling it. I can level it on the fluid head like I am now, or I can adjust it down here and extend the pole in or out, and that'll tilt the head. Alright, so now what I can do, I can pull the pin out down here. Now that will let me manually tilt the head backwards and forwards. So we'll go for another shot with that. So if I wanted to start low, we can go up, up the tree. Now it's still tilting it backwards. And then from there I can just use the handle to tilt it even further. So that's the full top of the tree there. And the camera is pretty much pointing straight up in the air. So on the reverse I can do the opposite. Do the tilt with the handle first. And then go down with the crane. Tilt forward to the rocks. Pull it back up off tilt. Raise the camera and raise it with the handle and go all the way up to the sky. Alright now thanks for watching and don't forget to check out my other video on how to make Botch's supersized camera crane and also if you see my other videos you'll see the DIY slider that I've also made and instructional on how I've made that. And don't forget to comment and to subscribe if you like this video or if you'd like to see more or uh, some of my other work just let me know. Or if you have any questions, just post them below and share this video around. Thanks and see you next time.